Today we're going to show you how to set up a DHCP server on a Juniper device. So in the lab, we're going to use our virtual QFX. We have one PC, PC1, that's going to be in VLAN 10. We have PC2, that's going to be in VLAN 20. And then we have a third PC that's also going to be in VLAN 20, but we are going to reserve an IP address for it in the DHCP server config. So the DHCP server config can be a little bit uh, tricky, especially on the on the new devices. These switches run the ELS software, which is the newer software that you'll find on the newer switches. I will actually post uh, the config for the older switches in the description below. The old way is a little bit more easy to set up, but uh, let's get right into it. So first off, we are going to configure our interfaces. Let's just do a show display set here. I've already got uh, my three interfaces here, link to PC1, PC2, and PC3. And we are going to start configuring VLANs. So we want to have these interfaces be part of uh, VLANs, and then we'll start with the DHCP config, linking them to specific subnets. Right, so we go into edit uh, VLANs, we're going to set VLAN 10, VLAN ID 10, and we are going to specify a routable interface of IRB.10. Now we haven't created this IRB.10 yet, but we will create it just now. And we will do the same, we'll do set VLAN 20, layer 3 interface, let's VLAN ID 20, and layer 3 interface IRB.20. Right, let's go and configure our interfaces, IRP, so set unit 10, family inet address, and I'm just going to make it 192.168.10.1 slash 24. This is also going to be the default gateway address that's going to be assigned by the DHCP server. Then we are going to do the same with the unit 20, and for that one, I'm just going to make it 192.168.20.1 slash 24. All right, we just do a show. Now we can go back into, we can just go one up. So now we can set interfaces xe000.0 family ethernet switching, VLAN members 10. So we will make this one part of VLAN 10. Then we will make xe001, we'll make it part of VLAN 20. And we'll do the same with xe002. So we can just go back here and change that to two. Right, so now we have our VLAN set up. Let's have a look, show display set. Right, and that's it for your routable interfaces and your VLAN, so we can go ahead and commit that. Right, so on the old switches, it usually was just uh, set system services, uh, DHCP. Now it's a little bit different. So we will go into edit access, right? So. For this, we will go into address assignment. So edit address assignment. And this is where you'll do most of your config. So first let's create a pool. So let's uh, set pool, we'll give it a name. I'm gonna name this one VLAN 10. You can't uh, specify the subnet here as it does not allow special characters for this name. And we are going to say family inet and we're going to specify the network. So remember VLAN 10 is 192.168.10.0.0/24. So next we are going to configure a range. It's still family inet and here you will specify range. Just give the range a name as well. I'm just going to name it VLAN 10 just to make it easier. So here we specify low and this is the lowest IP address that you want the DHCP server to assign from within this subnet. Now what I'd like to do typically is to use dot one up until dot nine for network devices. So I'm going to use 192.168.10.10 as my lowest IP that the DHCP will assign. We will then specify high and here we can just use the last IP available in this subnet which is 192.168.10.254. All right, let's just do a show to show you what we've got here so far. So we've got the network specified. We've got a name for a range from 192.168.10.10 to 192.168.10.254. Now we need to specify DNS addresses as well as a default gateway. So we'll go set pool again, VLAN 10. And here you're going to type in family inet, 
DHCP attributes and here you will specify name server and we are just going to use Google as a name server in this example. Next we are going to do a default gateway and for this you type in router and we are going to make the switches IRB interface the default gateway for this network 168.10.1. Right, so we can do a show here. All right, and uh, that's it for VLAN 10. So now we will specify the pool for VLAN 20. So we once again set pool, give it a name, gonna name it VLAN 20. I'm not gonna read out everything that I do. I'm just going to replicate exactly what I've done for VLAN 10, except I'm gonna change the network to 20.0 slash 24. Right, so now we can just do a show again, or let's do a show display set. So that's basically most of the config that you would need for your DHCP pools. Now, as I mentioned, we uh, PC3, we are going to uh, reserve an IP address from the DHCP pool. And you do that by just uh, checking what the MAC address of the PC is. So let's check that quickly. We go into PC3. You can just go into command prompt. Then you do an IP config all and you are looking for a physical address. So this is the MAC address. Uh, this is still an old version, so let's just mark that. So we are looking at that address. So it just replace the dashes with a colon, right? So just uh, make a note of that, and then we can go back into our uh, config here. So we'll go back into pool 20. So we can just go edit uh, address assignment pool because this is where we are going to configure the reservation. Right, so then what we're going to do is once again set a family inet host and here you just give it a name. So I'm just gonna name it PC3 and you specify the hardware address. So in our case, it is 50 colon 1B colon 00 colon 0E colon 00 colon 00. zero. All right, and then next you are going to just specify which IP you want reserved for this PC. So we are going to specify IP address, and I'm just going to make it 192.168.20.20. Right now, if we do a show, that is everything for VLAN 20. We can just do top and do a show display set so you can see the full config that we've got here. So first off, we created the interfaces. We assigned them to their respective VLANs. We created the RB interfaces. Then we configured the VLANs and we assigned the RB interfaces into the VLANs. And then we configured the IP address assignment pools. All right, so now the last thing you need to do is you set system services, DHCP local server group and here you just give it a name. We are going to use VLAN 10 just to keep it uniform across our whole config. And you're going to specify the interface IRB.10. So we will do the same for VLAN 20, VLAN 20 IRB.20. So before we commit this configuration, let's just have a look at our PC here. We'll do uh, another IP config just to make sure that it's got no IP address. And if you look at the IPv4, there's only the non-DHCP address that it couldn't get. Right, so this should be the same on all PCs, but we can quickly verify that. Let's just go back in here. And if we IP config, nothing on PC1, and we can just do the same on PC2. Right, IP config, and as you can see, none of them have the addresses that we configured. All right, so let's just go back into our QFX here and we do a commit. Hopefully it goes through. Right, now what we can do is we can do a run show DHCP server binding to see if uh, the DHCP server is actually assigning DHCP addresses or IP addresses. And you can see that 20.20, .20, which is the reservation that we created, has an IP address of 192.168.20.20 .20, and the state is bound. We can verify that. So we go to PC3. If we rerun this IP config command, there you can see that 192.168.20.20 is actually assigned to PC3. Now we just wait for the rest to acquire DHCP addresses. 
if it takes a little bit of time, it's not because of the server issue. It is actually the clients that are not requesting uh, DHCP addresses. So what you can do is you can just do IP config renew, right? And this PC3, well, it already had an IP address. So scratch that. Let's go to PC2, IP config forward slash renew. And we go do the same on PC1, IP config, renew. Now, if we have a look here, now you can see that there are three PCs, 10.10, 20.20, .20 and 20.10. You can also do a run show DHCP server statistics. And this will actually show you how many requests came in, how many times the request was declined, etc., etc. So this is actually a very good command to, to know if you want to troubleshoot your DHCP server. So if we have a look at our bindings again, we can see that uh, PC1 has 192.168.10.10, PC2 has 192.168.20.10, and PC3 has 192.168.20.20. Now, if we have a look at our config again, we can verify that that is exactly what we've set up as we've set up the low for VLAN 10 as 10.10 .10, and you can see it's assigned to 10.10 .10, and the low is 20.10 .10 for VLAN 20 and that was what was assigned to PC2 and PC3 which we set up the reservation for actually got an IP address of 20.20 .20 as we wanted. Right, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we hope to see you guys on the next one.